Hey guys, this is Bobby, topwaterkings.com. Uh, we got an order in from Redneck Custom Jigs and Lures. Uh, we're gonna open it up, check it out, see what all we got. Uh, I know what some of it is, so I got some trailers ready to try them out and see how they work. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and open it up and see what we got. Let's see, first thing we got is a 3 8 ounce skipjack, which is a chatterbait. Check that out. It's got the label on the front of it. It's got the name written on the back of it. This one's white and silver. Let's see. Got another chatterbait, 3 8 ounce. Like a chartreuse, white and chartreuse. I'm gonna open that one up, take a look at it. Yeah. Lay them out right there. Yeah, that one's got a little gray and black in it. Next one we got, it's got a uh, purple, gray, white, black, 3 8 ounce, same logo on all of them. This one's called the Purple Shad. I like that color. I don't use a whole lot of purple, but I like how they look with the black. It's got purple eyes. All of them have matching eyes, that's nice. Let's see, let me get these cards out. Regnecks, custom jigs and lures. Go to rednecktscustomjigs.com. Jigs so good they'll make you dance. Dance. And check that out, it's a pretty cool logo. Got about five of them there. All right, first jig we got. PB and great. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen that one. Pretty good looking jig. I'm sure we got a couple trailers that'll be good on that one. This is the one I liked. I saw it on his page and I had to get one. It's the pumpkin seed. Or as the label says pumpkin seed. A half ounce, six aught. I like that one. I got some special trailers for that one. We got Spring Crawl. Bunch of different colors in that one. Got some green sparkle, dark greens, browns. Check that one out. We've seen plenty of them. Let's see, Swamp Crawl. Green, orange, red, gold. That's going to be nice. Get a red trailer behind that one. It'll look real good. We're going to use this burnt orange I got right here. Let's see the tomato culprit worms. I got the chartreuse and the tomato orange. Got the red tails. Those go real nice. Toffee crawl. Got a mix of the same colors. It's got the glitter orange, green, kind of a brownish tan. It's a real nice one. And the last one we got is the grasshopper. Got the green and black, a little bit of sparkle of green. It's a good color. All of them have real nice labeling, packaging, stapled in. There's his address and his logo right there if you want to check that out. All right, what I'm going to do is pull out some of these tomatoes. I just bought these just for this. If I can get them open. Some of them have the chartreuse tail and some of them have the red tail. I'm going to use both of them. Let's see. 
And now they've got, let's see, I talked to them and you can put really anything you want behind any of them. These are just some of them that I use a lot. Something like that, something like that. Yeah, just get the colors to match whatever you're trying to use in your setup. Here's a couple of them I got. I'm gonna take about half of it off. There's what the hooks look like. All right, I'm just gonna do it simple. Gonna run it up on it. Shove it into place. And there you go. And that'll swim and spin and it's gonna look real good. All right. Uh, we can do the same thing <clears throat> with the pumpkin seed. Get it opened up. I'm going to have to get something different. I still like this, but I need a different trailer for it, and I don't have anything that I'm going to think is going to look good enough behind it. Again, I'm going to take off about half of it. Something like that. Now, I'm not going to leave that on there. It's... Yeah. All right, I'm going to go with this right here. I'm going to put that on there. I think that's, out of everything I got, I think that's going to be the best bet. There you go. You got your football jig all rigged up, ready to go. All right. I'm not gonna open up any more of these because I gotta learn the names a little bit better, so I don't wanna get them messed up. Uh, I'm actually gonna see if I got a fluke. I'm sure I do somewhere. Well, maybe I don't. Ah, here we go. Take a little flute. And just because, you know, I'm trying to match the colors, got the white. So there's your fluke on your chatterbait. And I am going to dip the tail of the fluke into the spike at garlic, which you can get at Walmart just about anywhere, like four or five bucks. And just dip the tail in it, just like that. Now if you get that on this white shirt, it ain't coming out. So be careful with it. And it'll stain your boat too. And there you go. To me, that looks perfect. That would probably be the first thing I throw out. Alright. Now this one, it's kind of got the salt and pepper look. And I actually bought something yesterday. I used these this morning. Worked pretty good. I had a wacky rig on a Carolina. Just like that. Look good. And I'm going to use that. Now it's a little bit long. So... Cut it off a little bit. Let me get up your skirt. If I can get up your skirt, I'm gonna put this on there. And I'm putting the white down. There you go. Fat little tail. Now, I'm not going to do anything else with that one. And I don't know if I have anything purple. Let me see. I don't think so. 
think the closest I got is going to be this thing right here. Which that won't look that bad. What do you think? Yeah, I think it'll look good. We'll take some of it off. Go up your skirt. I'm going to put the purple facing down because you're going to be above the fish, so you want them to see all the purple. And boom. There you go. You got purple eyes with a purple skirt and a purple tail. That's sexy right there. All right. You know what? I'm going to put. Let's see. Let me check this lizard real quick. It's got a little bit of red in it. I don't know, I kind of like how the action on that tail looks like it's going to turn out. So we're going to leave it like that. But you can take anything, even even a lizard. You know, when you're running these jigs or even the chatterbaits, you take the lizard, bite his head off, and you put him on there just like that, and it's going to look great. All right, well, that is our box opening for Rednecks Custom Jigs and Lures. Check them out online. Go to their Facebook page. Check out their Twitter. Uh, they got their website. It's on the back, rednecksCustomJigs.com. The guy's real nice, real polite, knows what he's doing, knows what he's talking about. Packaging looks great. We're going to get out there and try it out. See ya.